Are you having issues with roaches, ants, flies, fleas, gnats in your camper? And you want a solution on how to rid your camper of those critters? Well, stay tuned because I have the solutions. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, RV extraordinaire. And I'll tell you, so if you've been following Maureen and I, you know that we've been uh, living out of our camper now for the last couple years. And uh, being down in Florida and in the Georgia area, it was quite the change with the amount of critters that are out there because they don't have the regular roaches that you all have up north. Uh, they have these ones that fly. And boy, I tell you, can they be a pest? But I tell you, there is a solution. And if you have ants and all those other things, I'm gonna go through some things for you. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we've gotta go ahead and solve the issue on the outside. Now, what I mean, mean by that is you've gotta see, okay, what holes are on the outside from your underbelly, on your sidewalls, if there's any. Uh, for instance, on our sidewall, we have the furnace. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and put duct tape over that to keep any critters from going in there. I just have black duct tape. That way there it matches the rest of it. The other thing is the vent over top for a cooktop because we never use it. And I noticed that critters were coming in through there because every now and again, the thing the flapper would be left open. And uh, obviously that leaves a place for critters to get in. So I blacked, I went ahead and put the duct tape over that. Duct tape any sagging uh, parts of the underbelly along the edges. And then I also went through and looked and if there was open areas where you saw that needed to be filled, I use some of that spray foam insulation in those areas. So now that's on the outside on the, and the underbelly and so forth. The next thing was on the inside. I wanted to find out, okay, where could they be coming in? And if you look under your sinks, you look under your shower, you look where anywhere where they had plumbing or wires coming up through the floor or in through the wall, such as behind your microwave, uh, behind your oven. And uh, those are areas where you wanna spray foam insulation. Now, some of those holes are rather large. And what I did was I used some screening to help so I didn't have all that stuff falling into the underbelly because it, it's they were some pretty large holes and screening really helped me uh, solve that issue. Now, what I did before I um, filled in the wall holes is I took this stuff, it's the boric acid. Went ahead and took this and poured this down the hole. You can also go ahead and use in areas, inconspicuous areas, under your shower, under your sink, you know, behind things. You can use this, this is a roach killing gel. And this way here, it, they'll get into this take it back to their nest and just wipe out the whole nest. That's the plan anyway. Something else that works. Now I know this one says it's for mice and in the event you have a mouse problem, this might be another issue for you. And this is, they have glue traps. And I use these quite effectively for, uh, for the uh, palmetto bugs, the roaches, if you want to call them. And this does work as well. Um, something that I've done a couple times also is I've bombed the, the camper when I was going to go away for it's going to go away for a week or two set off like three bombs walked on out left it sit there came back cleaned up the mess that's another effective way um, if you're seeing flies ants roaches or any type of critters crawling up flying around in your camper this stuff is awesome and it's not going to be harmful to your pets now, obviously you're not going to want to drinking everything we go ahead kill them wipe it up we're good to go uh, for the flying in insects these things work awesome kind of look like this you plug it in it's a night light they light up blue and boy I tell you this is just all all of this area is all sticky and all the little gnats will go ahead and um, just conger there and then you know you do is this thing just pulls off you put a new one in there just take off the cover and you're good to go so that is a solution. Now, something I did find that I did not particularly care for, and that's these max attacks. No way, I mean, I had ones that were clear and I had these ones. I didn't see one roach inside of it. I cut a couple open, did not see any critters going in those things. So me personally, I wouldn't use these. 
uh, the other things that we've used, very effective. So hopefully this gave you some uh, helpful tips, tidbits. If in fact that you have some other advice, I'd love to hear what you used and how you created, uh, solved your issue. Put the comments in down below. Uh, let me know if this has helped you and uh, stay tuned because I'll be back with more tips and tricks for your RV. Take care.